mean, I'm ready to hear this other story and our beautiful speaker, her name is Stacy Latoyson. She is founder and CEO of A Dream Big Venture. It's a visionary venture capitalist with 22 years of energy experience at Chevron, including international assignments in China and Angola. Wow, okay, please, let's give a round of applause to Stacy Latoyson. Buenos dias, mi gente! Do we have any cougs in the house? <laughs> Whose house? <laughs> Let me tell you something. This past year, I spoke at South by Southwest, which was like a dream come true. I spoke at the Hispanic Association on Corporate Responsibility's 30th anniversary in LA. I received an honor from the Houston Business Journal of Women Who Mean Business for Women in Energy. But I have never become so emotional before a talk as I did today. <laughs> because This is where my story and my journey began, here at the University of Houston. And I think about that 18-year-old <laughs> driving up in her beat-up used Chevy Cavalier <laughs> with my nine-year-old son. And some days I had to bring him to class with me. <sighs> At that time in my life, I was in an abusive relationship with his father. <sighs> And to know everything that I have overcome and the woman that I am today, Dreams do come true. Because I not only finished my degree from the University of Houston in information technology, got my internship with Chevron, had international assignments, five years I spent in China, and it was the most enriching experience moving away from my family, just me and my son. Everybody always would say, you guys remind us of the Karate Kid. <laughs> you know, the single mom there with my son, he was learning Mandarin, and we got to explore a whole other side of the world. And then moving back here, and then we got a chance to go to Angola. And actually, fast forward, my son is now 25 years old. My, uh, and I have a 10-year-old beautiful daughter named Sophia. And uh, she was born in Beijing. And, <clears throat> and I decided in 2022 that um, during the pandemic that, I mean, I, I rose the ranks at Chevron. I was manager of innovation and strategy before I retired. I was um, managed billion dollar international projects. We were building offshore platforms outside of Africa and building refineries and but I wasn't fulfilled and it felt like my story of teenage mother 17 years old and everything that I've experienced that is something that I need to share with others because if you see her you can be her And it just, it's surreal to stand on this stage today. And, you know, I'm actually now on the board here at the University of Houston. Yeah! I mean, and this amazing university has the top entrepreneurship undergrad program in the nation. This university represents our diversity. 
I mean, I think there's more international students. The majority is Latino, just like our city. And it is very important, as Ivan said, that we have representation on our city council and in office and in Congress and in our state representatives. But it's also very important that we have representation on all of these boards of these businesses where we consume all the products every day. What is it, $1.7 trillion that our Latinos spend buying Nikes, buying purses, buying video games. I mean, we buying cars, you name it. But we need to own it. That's how we build for the future. That's how we break this generational wealth gap. I mean, it is a problem when only one or two percent owns everything. They own all the wealth. And we work our asses off every day. So I want to talk to you about investing in yourself. So, you know, I got that degree here from U of H, my undergrad. I also went back and got my MBA from St. Thomas in international business. So that really helped propel me in my career at Chevron. But I attended a conference where Serena Williams was the keynote speaker. And that's where I learned that only 2% of venture capital funds go to women and underrepresented startups. And I knew in that moment, because I already broke a lot of barriers in a very male-dominated field and energy, that that was my new mission in life. So I, I made a pivot. And I went back to school, which I never thought I'd go back to school again. But I got accepted into Columbia. And I did that for my 17-year-old self. But when I was in high school, I was a straight A student and my goal was to go to Ivy League school. And I was receiving acceptance letters from colleges all over the country. But I wasn't able to go. And I was opening those letters crying while my baby was kicking in my stomach. But I came here to the university, they welcomed me, they embraced me, and I met so many wonderful people that were supportive of me and made some of the best friends that I'm so thankful for today, who still today remind me, Stacy, tap into that 18-year-old hungry self. The one who was working two jobs while I was going to school at night. The one who you know, sacrificed, saved every penny because I was motivated to buy a home for my son and I bought my first house when I was 25 years old because I wanted him to have a backyard just to play with his friends. So anything is possible when you invest in yourself. So I finished the venture capital and private equity program at Columbia and I'm going in September to the graduation. So I'm going to be in New York. Thank you. But the impact that I'm making today is investing in women and Latino businesses. Because how many times do we get rejected? Exactly. But we have so many brilliant minds who are solving some amazing challenges that we need. And we understand our community. We know who the consumers are. We are, you know, we know what we want, what we need, what works. So I'm a limited partner in, um, it's called Mendoza Ventures. And it's a fund that invests in women and Latinos for cybersecurity, AI, and, um, and FinTech startups. I'm also an investor in Portfolia, which is all women investors who invest in women-led startups. And I'm also a shareholder in Agility Bank, which is the first women-owned bank in the United States. Ooh. 
So I'm, I'm trying to, you know, building a future, showing my 10-year-old daughter, Sophia, that anything is possible when we invest in ourselves and we invest in our community. So another adventure, or another opportunity and experience that I, I just had that I want to share is, um, is very important for us. I don't care what it is. Maybe you have to sacrifice taking a trip, but get an executive coach or a life coach. Someone who is unbiased, someone who is your cheerleader, someone who is going to help propel you forward. So I just went to Santa Barbara last month to go have three intensive days just to work on me because I have big, big dreams. And, and she helped me you know, really think about how to prioritize everything that I want to do and come up with a strategy and a roadmap. And so there's times when we need to take a time out because every day there's always so much to take care of, you know, things going on with the car and with the house and with the kids and with your parents and your friends. But sometimes you have to take a moment to really focus on yourself. So um, I just joined an amazing network of women CEOs called the Women's Presidents Organization. And all of these women have at least $1 million in annual revenue for their businesses. So I attended the annual conference, and a group of us in, from the Houston chapter, we sponsored several Latina and black female high school students who focus on STEM, that's uh, from Jones Academy, and we sponsored their trips and for their parents to attend this conference as well. Because if you see her, you can be her. And it's so important for us to have representation and to show our youth very early on the possibilities. And I was even so inspired attending this conference because this one woman, her company, it's valued at a billion dollars. I mean, this is the kind of exposure that we don't get every day. So had I not retired from Chevron last September and decided to chase my dreams, none of these things would have happened. So I just want to remind you that um, since I discovered my purpose and channeled all of my energy into it, it's amazing how doors have just opened and the universe has manifested so many things that, I mean, I can't even imagine in less than a year the things that I've accomplished and the people that I have impacted and helped and supported. But in a year from now, in three years from now, in five years from now, in 10 years from now, where we're all going to be. Peter, Selena, Mauricio, Bella, thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you so much for allowing us all to share our struggles and our challenges and our advice to inspire and empower others to dream bigger. Thank you.